Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to uh, talk about the presumptive Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, and uh, the concession that he made, and why, even if he wins, he will probably be the weakest Speaker of the House in American history, at least for this term. So, the vote is tomorrow, and by my count, <laughs> it's a scene from Hamilton. He doesn't have the votes. Um, now, he has a day to tr try to kind of uh, get his party in position, but right now, he does not have the votes. He made a major concession and it will be that concession that contributes to his uh, inability to lead. Any five Republicans can call for a vote of no confidence. Five. Five Republicans in the House can call for a vote of no confidence, which, if successful, would lead to him being removed. So, that means that the Speaker of the House doesn't actually have any power. The representatives have power over him in that position because any even remotely influential representative can get five votes, especially given the fact that there are five MAGA-style Republicans who are actively opposed to McCarthy as Speaker, which really doesn't make a whole lot of sense because Trump told them to support him. But they've realized that Trump is losing influence, and they know that if this goes in, if, if the ability to have that vote of no confidence goes in, that they can use that to get headlines. They can't ride on Trump's coattails anymore, so they have to make waves of their own. And this will be a way for them to establish themselves as the mega, mega candidate. Kevin McCarthy, he's a leftist. It's coming. Or a rhino. Um, they, you've already got a number of them saying that he doesn't believe in anything. He has no ideological basis. Which, I mean, maybe that's true. I've never met the guy. But with all of this in play and dozens of Republicans in the House unwilling to say how they're going to vote, uh, it seems unlikely right now that he has the votes. Maybe he can, uh, maybe he can pull them in. But even if he does, with the division within the Republican Party, with the habit of Republicans in the House wanting to create a circus, to get headlines, to get social media clicks, which they, for whatever reason, after all of these failures, still believe translate into votes, he's going he's gonna to be a disaster. The House is going to be just a giant mess. He handed, by making this concession, he handed the, the rank and file of the Republican Party all the leverage, all the power, because they don't actually have to win the vote of no confidence. They just have to get one. And every time they do, his political future falls a little bit further. Um, so it, it appears that even if McCarthy does somehow manage to pull this off and become Speaker of the House, there's no power. He won't be able to lead. He will be basically the clerk for the Republican Party. He will be trying to run their errands so he can have that title. This is uh, probably one of the last things the Republican Party needs because it creates a situation where the House will be dominated by those who are most out for themselves, most interested in grabbing headlines and creating 
sensationalist scenarios that they think translate into votes, despite all of the evidence to the contrary. But that's where we're at. So we'll have to wait and see how the vote goes. But even if McCarthy becomes speaker, he's speaker in name only. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.